May I now invite Mr. Upendra Trivakula, New Jersey ex-assemblyman and our current public utilities commissioner to say a few words, please. Mr. Trivakula. Welcome, sir. Good evening. Thank you very much. Uh, I just came back from India yesterday and uh, I could not resist the opportunity to welcome uh, Mr. Pavan Kalyan today in New Hampshire. <laughs> Mayor, I think Mayor just left, and think uh, Senator and the Representative. I used to be a state legislator in New Jersey, and um, I have come across a, long, a lot of people in the state of New Jersey, especially Telugu people. I want to tell you that how proud I am to be a Telugu Indian American. When you, when you go around with looking at the IT industry, the Telugu Americans uh, have contributed tremendously, and I think you should be proud of yourselves. We, in, in America, we take great pride in the democratic values of freedom and liberty and justice, and uh, those values are being tested uh, recently. So we have... We, as an immigrant community, have to come together. I'm so proud that Mr. Pawan Kalyan has brought all the immigrants together in this hall in Nashua, New Hampshire. I think he's starting off Janasena, which is a people's uh, army. So you should become people's army in the United States and fight for justice. Because... United States is not just a nation, but it's a nation of nations. Immigrants from all over the world have to come to United States and make it their home. And so we have every right to live in the United States. We have contributed tremendously to the United States. As you can see, the representative here from India in, in New Hampshire and myself in New Jersey, and we have many representatives around the United States. So I think uh, it is a, an occasion for celebration welcoming uh, Mr. Pawan Kalyan. Pawan means wind. So let's make use of the wind power. Let's propel forward and make our community a great success. Thank you. Also, I'd like to take uh, this opportunity to give this citation to Mr. Ka Pawan Kalyan. I would like to invite him here. I mean, you know, you know a lot about him. I just want to say that um, Mr. Pawan Kalyan, you know, is hereby commended for his contribution as an actor, producer, politician, writer, director, more importantly, humanitarian. Congratulations. May I now invite Ms. Lata Mangipuri to felicitate our Mr. Pavan Kalyangar. I have a little small token. Um, Nikhil, are you here? We have a young, emerging, very motivated youngster, Nikhil Utkur, who has participated. And this is a little token of appreciation from... Yeah. We Thank you so much, Nikhil. Thank you so much. May I now invite the famous film producer, Mr. Sarat Marar, to say a few words, please. Welcome, sir.
Sugamana sir. <laughs> I know you're a Malayali too. <laughs> Good evening, good evening, everybody, and uh, thank you, Nashua City, New Hampshire. What a what a wonderful welcome! And I honestly, uh, honestly, I didn't did not even know that I would be called on stage and asked to also speak. So I wasn't really prepared to speak to an audience like this. But I, as as I was sitting there, I was kind of reflecting. It's been 15 years with Pawan Kalyan. I started my journey with him when he stepped out to direct the film Johnny. And, and, and what a 15 years it has been. What, I mean, on one side, I, I could have an amazing journey in the film industry. On the other side, when, a more enriching journey with a wonderful human being. It all started with Johnny, I remember. I should tell the... I should tell the uh, dignitaries on the dais and the audience here, and the, most of the audience know, it was Kalyan's first venture out into direction also. He did put a great effort. We all worked as a team, but the film did not do well. It, it didn't take off. <laughs> they, they don't want to hear even that. They wouldn't accept it. But, <laughs> but, but what I remember was uh, at the end of the film, he wouldn't take a single rupee of remuneration through the making of the film. But at the, at the end of the film, I, I was to go and give him his remuneration, which was probably half a million dollars. And he just pushed it back and he said, give it back to the people who invested on my film and I wouldn't take it. This... This actually left a very lasting impression on my mind because I've heard, and we all hear a lot of people say that they are not really tempted uh, by money, but to witness something like that, I think that left a lasting impression. Uh, a few years later, I remember we went for a film premiere, we got off the car, and there was a deafening response. The crowd went berserk, everybody was cheering him, and I said, Kalyan, you rock, you're a, you're, you're a star man, you rock. He said, they're cheering for that image they see on the screen. And if I ever get carried away, the magic will be gone. I mean, I, I, that was another instance when I remember very clearly that he always has his feet on the ground. And then I have other amazing experiences, like we did a film, Gopala Gopala. Where... Where he, where he agreed to do a, 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 a guest role which just required 20 days of his time and he played Lord Krishna. And uh, I, I remember the day when the most important scene of the film, when they call it the Vishwarupam, that that scene was to be filmed, where the, the lead actor of the film realizes that this person in front of him is actually Lord Krishna. And we had 160 people on the sets and everything was set. Kalyan got off the van, he walked up to the set and he said, I'm not shooting today, and he walked off. Venkatesh Garu, the other star, just hugged him and said, no, no, when he's not in his mood, let's not even... He just turned around and tell, told me, uh, Sharad, I'm not going to shoot today because uh, I'm not God. I don't feel like God. I said... <laughs> As a producer, I, I did my best to convince him to stay back because everybody was there the entire crew, the director, and he says, no, I'm not God. I said, we know you're not God, but can we act? Can we do it? He said, he said, you don't understand. Let's call it off. And he asked me to jump into his vehicle. We drew off. We went off to his farmhouse. In half an hour, we were there. He got me a hot cup of coffee. I still had, couldn't recover the fact that we suddenly called off shoot. And then he explained to me that when you don't have any turbulence in your mind, when you're calm and when you're serene and when you probably not even having a, a disturbed stomach to everything, your mind, body, and soul is aligned, then you are, or any one of us is God. And he says, today I'm not God. So, and the next day, he was there at the shoot, and I think he delivered one of his finest performances, and the film speaks for that. 
And so now, uh, here I stand, I, and this is a, yet another experience for me in my journey with him. I, and yeah. he, he's, been, he's been our Gopala Gopala, he's been our Sardar Gabbar Singh. And he's, he's now our Katamaraidu. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you.